Hello, this is Access Affiliate, and today we're going to have a look at ad channels. Now, ad channels can be found in promotion ad channels, and ad channels are a way that you can track the activity or the success of a particular campaign that you're running um, as an affiliate. So you might have an email campaign, perhaps something on your website, or you're doing something in Facebook. It might be that you have the same advertisement or the same style of advertisement and you're running it in an email, on the website and in Facebook and you're looking to see what sort of activity that's generating. How's that working? So first of all, you can create an ad channel anytime um, for any purpose. Um, you can see I've created one here, email campaign the 20th of May um, for a particular product. So I'm suggesting here that you name these to match and inform you about your um, about your particular campaigns. So to create an ad channel is very simple. Just add channel. That then has created a new channel there. You can click in here and change the name. So I'm just going to call this ad channel for the moment. So now we've got a name. And the code here, I'll show you where this is used later. This is more used by the system, but you can change it to be anything you like. You can see that I've got CHO3, CHO2, CHO1. It could be numbers, could be a name, whatever you like. And you'll see a little bit later where, where this is applied and therefore you'll be able to name it appropriately. So when you're done and you've created your ad channel, you save it. And now we've got four ad channels. So let's have a look at um, how we apply these. In banners and links, we've got an item here called channel. And this is where you'll find all the ad channels that you've created. And this one's currently only showing the three that I have, not the fourth one I created. So just click refresh and you'll see now that it loads that, that last one that I made. We're not going to use that, but just to show you how to bring it into this system. So before I change that, let's go down and look at our links. And so here we've got a product being you changing the world. This is the affiliate link, my affiliate link, you'll be familiar with this. So my ID and the banner ID. And in order to get ad channels to work, we've got to add that little bit of code that we looked at before in ad channels to the end. And the system will do this for you. So if I now select Facebook and apply, and let's go back to that, you'll see that the the system has added a little bit of code right there. And that's my Facebook code. If we go back to ad channels and see my Facebook ad channel, it's CHO2. So that little bit of code gets appended to your affiliate link. And this is what tells the system um, which campaigns it's tracking, which ad channels it's tracking, so that it can report back to you. Now, for my demonstration of this, I've done this quite slightly differently. And what I've done is I've added my ad channel code onto my general purpose affiliate link. And I've done that manually. And so I'll show you how to do that. And it's simply to show you how this, how the reporting works. So what I've done is I've taken a copy of my affiliate link. And I've also noted that the way the code gets added is that little bit there. That's the end bit. So I've copied that. I'll just go to a text editor. So here's my normal affiliate link. And that's that little bit of code. And chan equals chan01. So there's my bit of code that I created for my ad channels. And all I've done is I've taken that and copied it and pasted it on the end of my affiliate link. And, and this is to help me with this demonstration. So I'm just using the same sort of idea that we're using with the banners and the links, um, applying it to my general purpose affiliate link. For each of the three different types of ad channels I've got, there was one for email, one for my website, and one for Facebook. I've just changed it from CHO1 to CHO2 to CHO3 and created three links. So let me do that and show you. So all I've done here to create the three different um, 
links for ad channels is, oops, sorry, there we go. Now these three represent email, website, and Facebook. So how have I used those? I've gone onto Facebook and I've created a link or a little post with a link. And if I edit that uh, there, you can see that there's my affiliate link with the little bit of channel, ad channel I code on the end. So what that means is that when somebody clicks this link, it'll come into the post affiliate pro system and be recorded in some way. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, on my website, I've just created a little test link here, which I'll take away later. And that has a different ID on it. The one for the website. And thirdly, I sent myself an email here with this link on it, and it's got the, the CHO3 code on the end. So what I've been doing is simply clicking these. And as you see, I arrive at the Access Shop with my general affiliate link and the channel code tucked on the end. So that's an email. Here's my Facebook page. I'll click this and I arrive at the shop with with my affiliate link with a different little bit of code on this on the end because this is the Facebook one. And then I have my email. Can't remember if I did that one already, but the same thing. So I'm just clicking as if I was um, somebody that you've sent links to and they've clicked them and they've gone off to the shop. So I'm not going to go through and purchase the products. I don't think that's required to demonstrate this, but that certainly would be what we would like people to do that you send to the shop. <laughs> so that'd be great. Um, but what I want to show you is that um, the way that you can see how the different types of Facebook or website or email campaigns are performing, are they getting clicks? Are they working? Are they getting people's attention? Um, can be viewed. And so if we now go to Post Affiliate Pro, and go to reports and channel stats report is one place where it is. So now what we've got here is these are my channels, email campaign, Facebook and stephenoutram.com. And you can see here's the clicks. And so there's three clicks for on the email link. Facebook has three clicks and the website has four clicks. And so this is the way that you can check and see how it's going. And you can also look over here and see what sales were generated from those clicks and the commissions. If you were like working with um, a style of advertising on Facebook and you wanted to see, which, say you had three or four different types of um, adverts or ways that you were, you were presenting your affiliate links on Facebook and you wanted to see which ones are actually working or which ones were getting attention, then you could give them different names, put the links in with different codes, as we looked at before, and then come here and monitor and see how those are going. And that would give you a lot of information about which types of adverts were performing well. And maybe then you would take the top one or two performers and work with those. And so that ends this tutorial, and good luck with ad channels.